Hey all, this is Redditasker, and I'm going to show you how to efficiently kill chargers at various different levels, using the stratagems that you'll have available at those levels. And this is important because chargers start spawning in maps at challenging level difficulty. And most players will start playing this difficulty long before they have access to the very high level, powerful stratagems. Against the bugs, chargers represent a shift in the game's dynamic. Their front is heavily armored, immune even to most armor-penetrating weapons, and their weak points are not terribly weak, and can take a while to go down if you're just targeting that. When everybody is low level, I've seen whole groups of players not be able to deal with chargers, and will just ignore them as they try and deal with the smaller bugs. And this makes encounters take a lot longer than it should. It increases the probability of more bugs joining the fray, and the potential of a second charger that nobody can deal with. In my opinion, having someone in the group that can quickly deal with chargers is crucial to playing Helldivers, especially in the higher difficulties. Because in those difficulties, you often don't just get one or two chargers, you'll occasionally get four or five or six at a time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to efficiently dispatch chargers, both in the highest level and in the levels leading up to the highest. At level 20, getting rid of chargers is easy. You shoot them in the front leg two times with the railgun. This will remove the armor from that leg, at which point you switch to small arms fire and shoot at that spot. The charger will go down very quickly. The leg seems to be an incredibly sensitive weak spot, and the charger will take much more damage from shots to the exposed leg than it would to its traditional weak spot on its back. You don't have to fire the railgun in unsafe mode, in fact I recommend that you don't. Unsafe mode lets the railgun do more damage per shot, but it's not enough to shred the charger's armor in one shot. You'll be doing two shots either way. And by doing it in safe mode, you can keep the charge up as long as you need to while you line up the perfect shot. Now, along with the railgun, I also recommend the rover stratagem. The rover is a flying drone that shoots lasers at any nearby enemies. He's extremely effective at fighting terminates, because there's often a lot of them and most of the small ones have very low health. I'd recommend bringing the rover to most terminate encounters anyway, whether you're trying to deal with charges or not, because it's really impressive how quickly he can get rid of small groups. But for dealing with chargers specifically, it's very useful because the biggest threat to your taking down a charger is the small distractions that will try and interfere with your shooting. The rover prevents this from happening by dealing with any nearby small critters that would distract you from shooting the charger. The more time you have to aim with fewer distractions, the better. Once you get good at killing chargers in this way, you'll be able to do it in less than five seconds. Which is good because, as I said, in the higher difficulties, there will often be more than just one charger. There could be multiples of them. So you need to quickly deal with one and move to the next. Okay, now let's move on to the lowest levels. At the lowest levels, the best way to deal with chargers is with the expendable anti-tank stratagem. You can unlock that one at level 3, and it has a much shorter cooldown than any of the other weapon type stratagems. You're able to summon them every 70 seconds, and you get two of them per summon which effectively means that if you use them properly, you can kill two chargers per 70 seconds. The strategy for using them is the same as with the railgun. You shoot the expendable round at the charger's leg. A single round will be enough to shred the armor. Then you switch to small arms fire and finish it off. From level 3 to level 10, this will be the most effective way of killing chargers. The only exception is at level 5 you get the recoilless rifle, and that will be useful if your encounters have more than two chargers to deal with at a time. In which case it would be most effective to have your friend reload your rifle for you, and in that situation every round in the backpack could potentially translate into one dead charger. You can also reload it yourself, but if it's that kind of situation where there are multiple chargers and there is a, you know, large amount of enemies, it'll be hard to find time to reload your rifle yourself. Now at level 10, several different stratagems open up to you. But when it comes to specifically killing chargers, the most efficient way becomes the flamethrower. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the best way because it comes with some risks that didn't exist before. You have to be up really close to the charger and you dodge around its charges while you're using the flamethrower. Sustained fire on a charger with the flamethrower will bring it down in just a few seconds. With a bit of practice, dealing with a charger is fairly easy. You just run out of its way, and it will stop for a few seconds after it misses you, giving you enough time to burn it with the flamethrower. At most, you'll have to do this twice. Level 10 is also where you unlock the rover, 
And it's useful here as well because it will, again, keep the small bugs off of you while you're busy dealing with the charger. The flamethrower is useful against the bugs in general because not only does it give you a fast way of dealing with the chargers, it's also effective against the medium tier bugs. With something like the recoilless rifle or the expendable anti-tank, it's tough to deal with the medium tier bugs that are armored and will deflect small arm fire because you don't usually want to waste this kind of heavy weaponry on that kind of bug. The flamethrower is effective because it has a lot of ammo and can deal with both of those kinds of bugs, the chargers and the medium tier bugs, pretty effectively. All right, now there are other weapons that you unlock. At level 13, you get the auto cannon sentry, and at level 15, you get the rocket sentry, and those are also very effective against chargers. But I'm not including them in this list because they're stationary, they have limited ammo, and they have pretty high cooldowns before you can launch another one which greatly limits how many chargers you can kill with them at a time. They and other stratagems do a good job of killing chargers, but the things I wanted to include in this list are the things that kill them quickly and can continue to kill them quickly over a sustained period. Alright, that's the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for watching.